Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We welcome everyone. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are joining us from tonight. Welcome to Green Pastures Church of God. This is our 19th day of prayer and fasting, and we welcome you to our evening prayer this evening. God bless you. Um, as we get ready to get started on tonight, we are going to get started in prayer. We're going to invite the presence and the power of Almighty God to be in our midst on tonight, that he would come and have his way in our midst, that he would come and just be with us tonight as we enter in, as we push deeper into the presence of Almighty God. Lift up your voice with me. Let us bless the name of the Lord. Let us thank him for bringing us together another evening to praise and worship him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless you. Lord, we worship you. God, we magnify your name. Lord, we give you all honor. We give you all the glory, Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we lift you up. Lord, we honor you for you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy of honor. You are worthy of glory. Be magnified tonight in our presence, O oh God. Be magnified, O oh God, in our praise. Be magnified, O oh God, for you are worthy to be praised. You are high and lifted up tonight, Father God. We give you glory, Lord, and we honor you. We praise you for from the rising of the sun to the going down of the very same, you are, your name is worthy to be praised. So God, we bless you. We magnify you tonight. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. Oh, almighty God, we thank you, Lord, for your keeping care. We thank you for your tender mercies tonight, God. We thank you that you have watched over us, that you have kept us, that you have guided our steps. Oh God, you have carried us to and from, oh God, on the highways and the byways of life, oh God, this week. And Father, it is Friday evening, oh God, and we are here, still here, able to give you glory. We are still here, able to lift our hands. We are still here, oh God, able to praise and magnify your matchless name. So Jesus, we come this evening. We draw near, oh God, to the table that is spread before us, oh God. We draw near to your presence, oh God, to glean from you again, oh God, to, oh God, to stretch out, to reach out and touch you, oh God, so that we can uh, receive from you, oh God, tonight, more anointing, more power in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, oh God, that you have extended unto us your grace and your mercy, oh God, that has kept us. We are still here. We are still standing all by your grace, all by your mercies, oh God. So tonight, Lord, we give you praise. Tonight, Lord, we give you worship. Tonight, Lord, we honor you. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless you. Oh, we bless your holy name, Jesus. The songwriter says, I searched all over. I couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, but I still couldn't find nobody because there's nobody greater. Hallelujah. Nobody greater than you, almighty God. Lord Jesus, there is nobody greater than you tonight. No one that can heal like you can tonight. No one can restore like you can tonight. No one, oh God, can touch and transform like you tonight. And God, no one loves like you tonight. So Lord, we praise you. Oh God, we honor you. Oh God, we lift you up and we magnify your name, Jesus. Oh God, when we look around and see what you have done for us, how can we not praise you? This air in our lungs, oh God, we didn't pay for it. We can't pay for it, oh God. But we are here another day. We are breathing, oh God. We can inhale and exhale, oh God. We are still in the land of the living. How can we not praise you? How can we not worship you? How can we not honor you, Jesus? How can we not magnify you, God? For you are simply amazing, hallelujah. You are worthy 
You are worthy, almighty God. Oh, we magnify your name tonight. Oh, we glorify your name tonight, Jesus. What an awesome God you are. How excellent is your name in all the earth, Jesus. Oh, God, you are worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah. You are worthy. Be magnified. Be glorified. Be lifted high, oh God, in our midst, in our praise tonight. We give you worship. We give you an authentic praise tonight, oh God. We give you authentic worship, oh God, because you already know our hearts, oh God. So we give you praise from the in the deep, deep parts of our innermost being tonight, oh God. We worship you. We worship you. Oh, we worship you. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And we bless your name tonight. Take over, oh God, this time of prayer. Take over this time, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We continue to give you praise, honor, and glory. In no other name but the precious, holy, mighty, awesome name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We bless the name of the Lord, our God. He, he is awesome. As the songwriter says, it's so sweet to trust in Jesus. There is just a great feeling to know that you are a child of God, to know that you can call on the name of the Lord. His name is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As we continue tonight, as we continue to push and press in tonight, as we, we aim to enter into the inner courts and into the holy of holies tonight, as we continue in prayer, let us call upon the Lord. Let us ask him to come and wash us tonight. Wash us from every sin, every unrighteousness to purge us tonight as we come before him, that we would be holy and righteous before him. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we come, we come, we come, Lord, we come. Oh, hallelujah. We come before you this evening, oh God. Oh, simply clay, we are in the hands of the potter. Oh, Jesus, we come tonight, Lord. Ah, Lord, we come because we know you're the righteous judge. Ha, ah, glory to God. We come before you, Lord Jesus, because we know that we cannot hide from you, Lord, because you created us. Thou who knowest all our weakness, oh God, you who knows everything about us. Oh, tonight we come before you, God, asking that you would wash us tonight in the precious blood of Jesus. We come asking God that you would cleanse us, oh God, from every iniquity, every sin, oh God, every word, every thought, every deed, every action that did not give you glory, anything that this was dishonoring, oh God, unto you tonight, God, we come. Lord, we open up the, the book of our own lives before you, Jesus, and we ask that every spot, that every blemish, oh God, be cleaned in the name of Jesus. Would you purge us, oh God Almighty? Would you wash us this evening, oh God, whiter than snow? Let our lives, oh God, give you glory. Let our lives, oh God, be lives representative of Christ tonight in the name of of Jesus. Oh God, would you create in us a clean heart like brother David wrote in Psalm 51. Oh God, and renew a right spirit within us tonight, Father, as we push on into your presence. We cannot enter into your presence, oh God, just anyhow. But God, we have to come before you of in right mind, right spirit, in 
the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father God, tonight I pray that you would clean us up, oh God. Wash us again with the redemptive blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary, oh God, for our soul's salvation. Wash us in the name of Jesus renew us i pray refresh us i pray revitalize us i pray tonight in the blood of jesus oh god let us come before you oh lord consecrated let us come before you oh god sanctified let us come before you righteous and holy in the name of jesus for your word declares that you are faithful oh god and you are just to forgive but we ought to come before you and we have tonight, Lord. We come, we come because we know there is no one else to call on but you. So God, we thank you for hearing us. We thank you for washing us tonight. We thank you for pardoning us, oh God, from everything, oh God, that would oh not give you glory tonight. God, we thank you for hearing and forgiving us in the mighty matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As we continue to lift up our voices in prayer, we are going to call upon the spirit of the living God, the precious Holy Ghost. We need the spirit of God in our lives each and every day, each and every moment. I just love when the presence of the Lord just consumes my, all of me. It, it, there is a feeling that is indescribable. Let us call upon the spirit of God that he would come tonight, that he would be in our midst, that he would uh, just consume us with his fire, with his anointing, Let that the presence of God would just revitalize us, would renew us, would replenish us tonight, that it would give us wisdom and uncommon strength in him, divine strength. Let us call upon the Holy Spirit tonight to come and take over during this time of prayer. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Oh, Jesus, you said you go, but you will send us a comforter. All that will teach us all things. Father, they gathered on the day of Pentecost in that upper room. And Lord, a rushing mighty wind came in that room. And they began to speak with other tongues. Oh God, as the spirit gave utterance. Father, in the name of Jesus, it is the same precious Holy Spirit of the living God, that you declared that greater things we shall do than you did because of this power. So Father, tonight, precious Holy Spirit of the living God, we invite your presence in our midst tonight. The one who dwells on the inside of me. Oh, I thirst, I hunger for you more and more each day. Would you come on tonight in this prayer time would you come and manifest yourself in our midst manifest your glory in our midst tonight in the mighty name of jesus oh would you come as on the day of pentecost would you come tonight with a rushing mighty wind in the name of jesus would you move into each and every home represented here on these platforms tonight would you move wherever people are oh god at this time taking the time oh god to join in with the spirit of the living god just move in and saturate the atmosphere that we occupy right now in the mighty name of jesus spirit of the living god we cannot do anything without you we need you more than life itself we need you every hour we need you oh holy spirit of the living god would you come and revive your people tonight? Would you come and refresh us tonight? Would you come and renew us tonight in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of the living God? Would you breathe? Ah, breath of God. Would you breathe on us tonight in the name of Jesus? Holy Spirit of the living God, would you just move, bring in restoration. Oh, hallelujah. Would you just move in every home represented here? Would you just move? Baptize with your power afresh. 
Oh, rebaptize, refill, oh, Holy Spirit, because we need more of your anointing in our lives today. Holy Spirit of the living God, we need the, the spirit of wisdom upon our lives, oh God, to do things, oh God, the right way that you want us to do them, Lord Jesus. We need the fruits of the spirit, oh God, to be operational in our lives. Holy Spirit, come and take over. Let this flesh be subjected. Oh God, let this flesh be subdued. Oh Holy Spirit, come and fill us tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, come and fill us, Lord. Fill us, Lord. Fill us up. Hallelujah, fill us up. Ah, glory to God. Fill us up, oh God, till we overflow tonight. We need more of your anointing. We need more of your anointing. Hallelujah. We need more of your anointing. So we surrender. Oh, we surrender our all to you tonight, oh God. We say here we are. We are withholding nothing. Oh God, would you come? Would you fill us, fill our lives? Fill our homes, fill our children, almighty God. Fill our spouses, fill our family members. Oh God, fill us up tonight. Ah, we are desperate for you. We're desperate for more of you. So would you come? Would you come and take, take control? Would you come, almighty God, and pour out into us? Hallelujah, pour out into us, I pray. Oh God, we yield this entire time of prayer unto you, Spirit of the living God. Do as you will in our midst tonight. Ah, oh, glory to God. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for what you are doing now and what you are going to do in this evening and at midnight and tomorrow and throughout the weekend. We thank you because we know there is a move. Oh, glory to God. So we thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, we praise and we honor you. Jesus, thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. And I know it is the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know where you are, but where I am, I know that the presence of the Lord is here. I can Feel the presence of the Lord in my space right now. Hallelujah. Such an awesome, awesome presence. Hallelujah. Of Almighty God. Just feel free wherever you are in your home tonight. Embrace the very presence of God. Don't shun him. Don't feel afraid, but embrace Hallelujah. The presence of Almighty God. Let him move in your life. Let him move in your situation tonight. Hallelujah. As we continue tonight, I want us to turn to the word of God. Tonight, we are looking at Matthew 7, verse uh, 24 to 27. Matthew chapter 20, um, 7. Matthew 7, 24 to 27. Um, and I'm reading from the New King James Version. Our memory verse for today is verse 24 of that very chapter. And we're talking about solid foundation, solid foundation. And this scripture here is probably very familiar to some people. And so I just want us tonight, as we look at it, just to glean what the Lord is saying to us um, tonight in this setting and during our time of fasting, we've had many focus, just, you know, be open-minded to where God 
is taking us tonight as we read this. So let's read tonight. All righty. And it reads, my Bible here. Uh, Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock and the rain descended, the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house. And it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell. And great was its fall. I'm going to read verse 27, uh, verse 26 and 27 again. But everyone who hears these things of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and slammed against the house or beat on the house and great was its fall. In both cases, regardless of the house, both houses strength, the foundation's fidelity and the builder's wisdom, the storm did come. In both cases, rain fell, floods came, winds blew, and they slammed against both houses. There's no indication that either of the homeowners caused the storm, but both had to endure the storm. I don't need to convince anyone tonight that life, our lives, is full of storms, many of which we don't cause, but we must endure. The reign of depression, fearfulness, and loneliness, and the list goes on, comes. The flood of uh, family tension, relational um, brokenness comes. The winds of cultural imperfection, social pressures, and God and a godless society blows. And all of it slams against our houses, colliding with our lives. In fact, So common is this experience that it it can safely be assumed that each one of us is right now either recovering from, going through, or preparing for a storm. Sometimes all three at once. In this scripture that we just wrote, as Jesus was closing out and he told this parable, he acknowledged that such trials are inevitable but that being overcome by them is not. Yes, the winds knocked the foolish man's house down. His life could not withstand the chaos swirling around him, but the house built by the wise men stood strong. His life, while probably showing signs of enduring the storm, remained as strong as before the first raindrop fell. We all tonight want to be the wise men. Every one of us wants a life that can withstand the concerning diagnoses, the heartbreaking disappointments, the abusive experiences, and everything else that life throws. We all want an unshakable life. And that's what Jesus has offered unto us. That's what this scripture encourages us to have. If we want to be like the wise man, enduring life storms without falling apart, I have three things here that I want to share with us tonight that we must do. Number one, we must choose the right path. Matthew 7, 13 to 14 says, enter through the narrow gate for the gate is wide 
and the way is broad that leads to destruction, and there are many who enter it, through it. For the gate is small, and the way is narrow, but leads to life, and there are few who enter it. Build an unshakable life, a house built on a rock, not sand, begins by choosing the right path out of the two available options. The right path is the one of true righteousness, which Jesus has been presenting to us through his whole life, through dying on the cross for our sins. The second one is learning to listen to the right voice or voices. Matthew 7, 15, beware of the false prophet who comes to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. We ought to have an ear that is opened, that knows when our God is speaking to us so that we're making conscious and godly decisions. And the third one is trusting the right measures or trust the right measures. Matthew 7, to 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my father who is in heaven will enter in. We ought to measure. We ought to know. We ought to discern. We ought to decipher so that we choose accordingly and allow our foundations to be one that is solid in Christ, one that is unshakable against the winds, the storm, and every destructible thing that may be sent our way. A solid foundation in God is unmovable. As we go into prayer tonight, I want us, our first prayer point, we're going to say, Lord, help me, teach me, guide me in building my life in you. The, who is the solid rock. There's a song that says, this rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. And that rock is Jesus tonight. And so as we open up this time in prayer, this session of praying, we're going to pray. This is our first prayer point. Lord, help me, teach me, guide me in building my life in you, the solid foundation. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we come before you tonight. Lord, we thank you for your word in Matthew chapter uh, 7, O oh God. Lord, we thank you, God, for this parable, O oh God. We thank you for the essence of the word of God that comes, O oh God, to, to build us up, that comes to teach us, that comes to guide us, Lord Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight, O oh God, I pray. That, Lord, we you would teach us, O oh God. Teach us your ways, O oh God. Teach us your ways tonight. Father, we come, Lord, and we are asking you, Jesus. Lord, we are asking you, God, that you would guide us, our Lord. Guide every decision that we make, O oh God. Father, help us. Help us, O oh God to uh, glean from your word in building a firm, a solid foundation in you, Father. Lord Jesus, bec because Lord, without you, Lord, without you, we would be like the one who built on a sand. Oh God, and the sand came tumbling down in the name of Jesus. The house built on the sun, it was swept, it was beaten, it was washed away. But Father, Lord God, if we are built, oh God, in a firm foundation, we our lives, oh God, are unmovable in you. So Father, I pray that every choice that we make, oh God, every decision that we make, oh Lord, everything that is is about us. Lord, we would come to you for guidance. We would say, Lord, help me. Lord, teach me. Lord, guide me, oh God. We will allow, oh God, your Holy Spirit to lead us, oh God. We will walk in obedience, oh God, because that is very important, oh God, as Christians, that we obey you. The songwriter says, trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. 
So God, help us to walk with you. Walk in the light of your word, oh God. Help us to uh, hear, oh God, from you. Oh Lord, help us, oh God, to hold fast to your word, oh God. The word of God that brings life and light to our lives. Father, help us today in the name of Jesus. Guide our footsteps. Lord, hold our hands. Guide us, oh God in the way everlasting. Guide us, oh God, as we build solid foundation, our lives built in the solid foundation, which is you, Jesus. Help us tonight, I pray, to be ever, 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 oh God, steadfast in you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. And our second prayer point tonight, we're gonna pray that our ears will be open to hear him speak. Every blockage will be removed. We won't have itching ears. We will hear the voice of the Lord as he speaks to us. And we will know his voice because his voice makes the difference. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh, glory to God. God, I pray tonight. That you, oh God, would touch our ears tonight, God. Lord, I lay hands even on my own ear. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that these ears will begin to hear your voice like never before. God, I pray that if there is anything that would seek to plug this ear, or these ears, that God, it would be unstopped tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, you would remove anything that is blocking, oh God, these ears from hearing your voice and hearing your instructions clearly. Father, wherever your people of God are tonight on these various platforms, God, I pray in the name of Jesus. God, as I touch my ear, I am making a point of contact for everyone, oh God, that is hearing this prayer tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, I pray that every ear hearing my voice tonight, if there is any blockage from hearing your voice and hearing it with clarity, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you will remove every blockage in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I declare that we will hear your voice and hear every word of instruction that you are giving unto us in this season. Father, I pray, oh God, that your words of wisdom, the words that you are giving unto us to build our lives, oh God, to help, oh God, us keep on holding on to you, the solid rock, that those words, oh God, will be heard. Those words will be heard and understood. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, there'll be no confusion, oh God, in whatever you will speak to us, but we will understand, Father. Father, I pray in this season that as you speak, we will be obedient to your voice, oh God. We will not be drawn by fear, oh God, oh God. We will not be timid, oh Lord. We will not be shy. We will not be confused in the name of Jesus, but Father, we will hear and obey. We will move, oh God. To, to the instructions that you have given unto us. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, let the church of God arise, oh God, as we hear your voice. Father, let us no longer sit complacent and you speak and we keep the words for ourselves when it should be edifying the church of the living God. So Father, I pray that you would light a fire under our tails tonight in the name of Jesus, that we will get up as we hear your word and declare what you have spoken, oh God, for the edification of the church and for the glory of your holy name. So speak tonight, Lord. Like Samuel, we are saying, speak, Lord, your servants are hearing because we are ready, O oh God. We are attentive, O oh Lord, to your word of instruction, O oh God. We are attentive, Lord, to your voice because your voice makes the difference. Tonight, have your way, O oh Lord. We thank you that these ears are open to your voices call in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. 
Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Our next prayer point tonight is praying for wisdom to know when, where, to speak what God has given unto us. Because we're asking him to open our ears. We're asking him for wisdom. All of these things contributes to the foundation that we are on. We don't want to speak out of term, out of time, out of God's will, out of order. And we don't want to speak words unto uh, grounds that are not fertile. We don't want to. It's like the seed, uh, the sower who sowed the seeds. We want to speak what God has given unto us on good ground so it will produce. Let us pray tonight for the wisdom of Almighty God to allow us to discern the time, the appropriate time, season, when to speak what God has called us to speak. Because sometimes God gives us a word and we speak out of turn. It's not time. He hasn't released you to release the word, but we speak anyhow. And sometimes that word is not always producing because it's the wrong timing. So as our foundations are being built let us ask for wisdom so that we can avoid these errors. We don't want to fall in those traps. We want the wisdom of God to lead us as he speaks to us. Let us pray. In the, Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, we desire, O oh God, your divine wisdom to be operational in our lives. Father God, we want the wisdom of Almighty God to be the strategic orchestrator, oh God, of us fulfilling, oh God, that which you have given unto us. Father, I pray, oh God, that even as you speak into our ears, oh Lord, God, I pray that we will understand the time and the season Oh God, we will understand the places, oh Lord, where we ought to go and deliver that which you have given unto us. Father, I pray that like the sower with the seeds, we will sow on good ground that will produce, oh God. I pray that we will not pour out on grounds that are filled with thorns that will cause a choking to take place that will cause stagnation, that will not cause progress or growth. But God, we will speak, oh God, when you have given us the, that unction to, when you have said, go ahead, oh Lord, we will speak. And that word, those words, oh God, will bring forth fruit. That Those words, oh God, will bring glory and honor to your name. Those words, oh God, will bring transformation to lives, healing to lives, deliverance, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, as we walk in obedience, as your wisdom, oh God, leads us and guides us, oh God, we are building, oh God, our foundation to be stronger and stronger in you. So Lord, I ask that your wisdom be in all that we do, that your wisdom, oh God, surrounds us tonight. In the name of Jesus, like Solomon, Lord, we ask for wisdom, oh God. Because in wisdom, getting wisdom, we get understanding and knowledge, oh Lord. So Father, I pray that you would uh, give us tonight, each of us, our own portion of your divine wisdom tonight in order to go out and walk in obedience as you speak. And as we hear in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as we come down to our final prayer point for tonight, we're going to pray that the Lord will fill us up with words to battle and to contend with the enemy 
for our territory. We ought to be able to protect our foundation. We ought to protect where we occupy. We ought to protect and fight against those elements that would come and want to beat against the foundation that we are building in Christ. So tonight we are going to war against the enemy. I do not like him, not one bit. And I think he knows. We are going to fight him with the word of God. We're fighting for what is ours. Whatever he has planned to come against our life, we are sending it back to him and his host. And the fire of the Holy Spirit will consume it because our lives tonight are aligned in Christ. Our lives tonight are built on the firm foundation that is unshakable. And we're going to tell the enemy tonight that this foundation is unshakable in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come tonight, oh God. Lord, we thank you, Jesus, for your precious Holy Ghost. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you, oh God, for the reminder, oh Lord, that our lives are hidden in you, Christ Jesus. And because of that, our lives are unshakable in you. And so, Father, even, even as we know this, oh God, we know that the enemy who is roaming around seeking whom he may devour is plotting and, and, and planning against the children of God. And so, Father, tonight in the name of Jesus, we don't want to know, we don't care to know the strategic ploys that he is planning against us. But we stand against him in the name of Jesus. Satan, we declare that you have lost another battle again. Even before you strike, you have lost. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. Our lives are hidden in Christ Jesus. Our anchor holds and grips the solid rock tonight. Our foundation in God is secured. No matter what storms or hail or landslide, or whatever you throw at us, we will not be shaken in the name of Jesus. The storm winds will blow. Hurricane uh, category five, four may blow, but we will stand in the name of Jesus because our foundation is secured in him. So I came tonight, enemy of our progress to serve you notice that we will not be defeated. We will not be crushed. We will not be beaten. We will not be swayed left or right, but we will stand tall in the name of Jesus. We nullify your plans. We dismantle your prongs. Oh, in the name of Jesus, every plan that you have set out against every child of God, every plan that you have set out for GPC tonight, we dismantle your plans. We nullify them. We send the fire of almighty God to consume in the name of Jesus. We stand strong. We stand firm. We stand solid in Jesus Christ tonight. We are victors. We have already won the battle because Christ Jesus overcame for us. And so tonight, devil, we serve you notice in the name of Jesus. You have lost. You have lost because the undefeated champion of the world is our heavenly father. We can never lose a battle because he has never lost any and he never will. So tonight we stand in the name of Jesus and we declare that we are unshakable. We are unmovable. We are unstoppable in the name of Jesus because we are standing on a firm and solid foundation, which is Jesus Christ tonight. Father, we thank you that in you we live, in you we move, in you we have our being tonight, oh God, and that you are the firm foundation of our lives. We praise you. Oh, we praise you, Lord. 
that we are victorious in all things. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. People of God, I implore you tonight to hold fast to the firm foundation, which is Jesus. His anchor never drops. It grips, it holds firm. We're going to make some declarations tonight as we close. The declarations from the guide that Pastor um, gave us, those of you who have it, you can read along with me the declarations for today. And the first one says, <clears throat> Lord, I thank you for making your word the solid foundation on which all creation is built in Jesus' name. Lord, please, this year, I ask that you speak to me and make your voice clear in all situations in Jesus' name. Lord, please open my spiritual ears to be attentive to your words so I will not miss your direction and instruction for my destiny in Jesus' name. I declare that this year I will build my life on the word of God in Jesus' name. Lord, please, this year, fill my life with your word of wisdom and help me withstand every storm, wind, and flood of destruction that I may encounter during this year in Jesus' name. I declare that this year, because of God's word as my foundation, I will be wise and strong to win all my battles in Jesus' name. I'm going to say that one one more time. I declare that this year, because of God's word as my foundation, as your foundation, we will be wise and we will be strong to win all our battles in Jesus' name. Lord, this year, let your word become fruitful in the lives of all my loved ones in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. Father, we honor you tonight. We thank you, Lord, for your promises. We thank you, Lord, for every declaration that we have declared, oh God. I say yes and amen. It is so. They, it cannot be otherwise in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we believe that we will see the manifestation of these declarations over our lives in this year. In this year, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we stand on the solid rock, as we stand on the solid foundation, which is Jesus Christ, Lord, we will see the manifestation of every declaration over our life in the name of Jesus. And Father, tonight, as your people, oh God, are on these platforms, I pray the blessings of God over their lives. I pray that every declaration, oh God, that I have just declared will be their portion in Jesus' name. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that they will hold fast to the solid foundation which is in you, that they would not worry, oh God, but they would hold fast, oh God, to you. Because God, you will never leave us. You will never forsake us. You will never let us down. And so Father, tonight, I pray that those who are hearing my voice at whatever time they will hear this, oh God, that they will understand that you never fail because you are the solid foundation. You cannot be swept away by any rain, storm, whatever, God, you remain the same. And so, Father, we trust in you. God, we thank you for this time of prayer tonight. Lord, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, oh God. We thank you for the, the, the knowledge of your word and the understanding of your word tonight. And so, Father, I pray 
that you would bless your people, that you would cover your people, that you would guide your people, that you would protect your people, that you, oh God, would make provisions for your people everywhere tonight that is hearing the sound of my voice. Father, we bless and we honor you, our faithful God, our loving Father, our almighty King. We give you glory, we honor you, we praise you, we thank you, and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, amen and amen. People of God, we thank God for you joining us tonight. We meet again at midnight. It is Friday. We have midnight prayer tonight. Please join us again as we go deeper into the presence of the Lord, as we hold on to that solid foundation, as we ask the Lord to pour more into us. God bless you. Have a wonderful night.